Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Hallie and I'm so happy that you're here. For today's video, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I thought it would be so cute if we spent the day out together and went on a little bookish date day together. So Marky was so nice to me and because I'm on a book buying ban, he gave me a Barnes & Noble gift card so that I could go and get a book for a little date day without technically <laughs> breaking my book buying ban. So shout out to Marky for that. I am so excited. I have really been struggling with this book buying ban. It's only been a month and I think just because I can't get books, I'm like thinking about it even more. But anyway, today we're going to go to Barnes, do some book shopping. I'm going to take my time and really just enjoy being in Barnes. I haven't been since like the beginning of December. So I am so excited to go book shopping. And then I was thinking we could grab lunch together and then go on a little picnic date in the park and read books. I have the cutest park next to my house. There's like a little lake and ducks swim in there and it's just so wholesome and so cute there so I just thought it'd be so cute with Valentine's Day coming up to spend the day together doing cute girly bookish things so right now we're gonna go to Barnes do some book shopping I might go to Trader Joe's and get some little snacks for our picnic maybe some flowers I don't know we have the whole day ahead of us so stop one is going to be Barnes guys I have anxiety right now <laughs> oh my god I almost got hit by a car because I'm nervous <laughs> We made it to this little lake area. How pretty is this? There's this whole little lake area right by our apartments and there's always like little ducks here and little families and it's just so cute. But we went home to get Bentley so he could come on our little picnic with us. And then instead of getting snacks, I just decided to stop and get Chipotle for lunch because I love Chipotle and it's so yummy. For the book that I chose, I chose Butcher and Blackbird by Rin Weaver. Honestly, I don't really know why I chose this because it's like very dark, I'm pretty sure. I was reading through some of the trigger warnings to Mark and he literally was like, why did you choose that? I don't know. Some of the trigger warnings, I like don't even want to say it out loud. <laughs> I'm just going to put the trigger warnings on the screen so you can read because I genuinely it just, I don't know why I chose this. So many people have been saying like, oh, it's so good. And like when it says cannibalism, like don't read into it, you'll be okay. So. I somehow have been convinced. I really don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. And also like it's pink. I don't know. Mark was just laughing at me because he's like, oh, you're doing like a cutie little bookish date and you choose just the most insane, disgusting, crazy trigger warning book. I didn't think about that. I also did bring A Court of Mist and Fury as well in case I wanted to switch back and forth, but I really want to get further into this book. So these are my two options that I brought. So I'm gonna sit here and read for a little bit. The sun's gonna be setting soon, honestly. So I'm gonna eat, read some, just relax by the water and then go home. I think later tonight I'm gonna have some wine and make some cookies and just relax, so.
skin splits open in a white mass of... <laughs> <laughs> my goodness i've made it back home i literally only ended up reading like one chapter of this while we were out on our little picnic but honestly i feel like okay by like the second page there was already something where i was kind of like oh my gosh i don't know if i <laughs> if i can handle this like it was kind of i mean i don't know but then i just continued on and like got to the end of the chapter and already by the end of the chapter i already think i could end up liking this more than i I don't know because here's the thing I have said this before I really like watching serial killer movies and documentaries and whatever and the two main characters in this book are both serial killers the guy was just introduced at the end of the first chapter and he seems like the type of character where even though he's a really really bad person he like is very not light-hearted but just like unserious I guess like he's literally a serial killer but he's just like joking around and the female being character is like is he serious right now like <laughs> so because of that i feel like if there's a lot of humor throughout this book i will end up liking it and i've heard people say that the trigger warnings are not as scary as you think whenever you read them so i'm trying to take the trigger warnings with a grain of salt and see like how they are actually implemented in the book but yeah i don't know i guess the reason that i still got this book even though i didn't like hooked which is a dark romance is just because i feel like within dark romance there's probably a bunch of like almost sub genres but like just different kinds like this is different than Hooked. Like Hooked to me, in my opinion, was more of a mafia type of romance. And this is about serial killers, which, you know, it's like gory and like gross and stuff. But I feel like it just really depends on how the author goes about it. So yeah, but honestly, I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. I honestly didn't want to stop reading, but the sun was going down. I ended up having to go and get some groceries really quick on the way home. And the whole time I was grocery shopping, I just like wanted to be at home reading more of this book. That is a good sign. That's a really good sign if after just one chapter I'm already intrigued enough to be thinking about it while I'm doing other things to keep going. So that is the plan for tonight. I have poured myself, well not poured myself, Mark poured me a glass of wine. <laughs> I'm having it in my little glass that my bestie gave me and I'm going to sit and read for a little bit. I think in a little bit I am going to wash my face because you guys ever just like wear makeup all day long and by the end of the day your eyes are just so dry and ready to be naked. That's how my eyes are feeling so So I'm most likely going to be washing my face pretty soon. Also, the other thing that I did want to show you as well is I ended up getting a clear case for my Kindle and I ordered a bunch of stickers off of Etsy, but they've been coming like randomly all separately because they're all basically from different shops. I literally bought so many stickers. I, you know, I just hyper fixate. And so once I started thinking about stickers, I had to get all of the perfect ones. So they've all been coming in separately and I think I'm going to make like either a TikTok or include it in a video or something where I'm like actually decorating my Kindle, but I figured since some came in the mail today while I was vlogging, I would show you which ones came in the mail. I have a bunch already and then there's some really cute ones that I'm waiting for in the mail still, but the first ones that came, I actually got four of them, but only two out of the four came. It's so cute. They're these little books that say book besties. So there's a light pink and a dark pink. I got two light pink and two dark pink so that me and my three besties can all put one in our Kindle or just, I mean, wherever. But yeah, because we literally all just talk about books and are just little book girlies together. So I thought that was so cute. The next one that came today is also so, I mean, honestly, all of them are so cute to me, but this one is a little heart. It almost looks like the Valentine's candy hearts, but it says enemies to lovers, which I think is so cute. And this shop was so cute because you can literally pick whatever color heart you want and then what you want to say. So you can like fully customize the sticker to what you want. And also you have the choice to get the sticker either matte, glossy, or like with a shimmer on it. But I chose just map I think yeah and then the last one that came today is also so cute it's just this little bear 
those are just a couple that came today. I already have a bunch that have came in the mail and then I'm waiting for a bunch to come still. And then I also got a really cute pop socket to put on here, but I am the type of person that I don't want to like decorate my Kindle until I have all of the options available because I don't want to like decorate it and then get some in the mail and want to change it. So I'm just slowly compiling all of the stickers in a stack in my nightstand until they all get here in the mail and then I will decorate it, like I said, in a vlog or on TikTok. One of those. Literally so excited. Every time that another one comes in the mail, I just get a little bit more excited for the day that I can put them all on my Kindle and live my best girly life, you know? I am going to read Butcher and Blackbird. Honestly, I'm probably not going to finish this. Not probably. I'm not going to finish this tonight, but I want to get like a decent way in. Let me know though if you guys would want to see me finish this book in a separate reading vlog later on this month. Yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the night. Get tipsy and read. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to be done for the night, but I read a few more chapters and I am liking this so much more than I anticipated. I feel like it's because of the way, not, I guess not, well, yeah, like the way that it's written, like the banter between the two main characters, I love. I feel like I, even though they're both serial killers and it's like, they shouldn't be good people, like I kind of already am rooting for them, which feels weird because they're serial killers, but also they're two serial killers who hunt other serial killers and other like bad people, which doesn't necessarily make serial killing okay but also i feel like it i don't know how to justify rooting for a serial killer but i like them together and i like the banter and i like the fact that there is a lot of comedic relief i haven't made it to anything too gory or anything like that yet so i don't necessarily know how i'll feel about that but so far i am pleasantly surprised and like this is exactly why i am glad that i kind of continue giving some genres a second chance even if i read one book and i don't necessarily love it because every book has its own own twist to it almost or like its own vibe so I feel like even though you might not like one book in a certain genre definitely try out another book or different author or something just like a completely different topic whatever just keep giving it a try because I honestly so far I'm really really liking this I will finish this at some point later in this month and like I said if you guys want me to finish reading it in a vlog so you can see my reactions and all of that stuff let me know but yeah I'm so tired I am ready to wash my face and get cozy in bed and go to sleep so thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I had such a fun little girly day out going book shopping and our little picnic. It was so much fun to go out by the water and like watch the ducks and eat lunch. Well, it was like lunch slash dinner. It was really late. It was just so cute and cozy and honestly just a really chill little vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more content like this as well. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.